What's up everyone, it's TriHackMe's Advent of Cyber 2023 Day 2 and here's my walkthrough. So let's start with learning objectives. In today's task, you will gain an introduction to what data science involves and how it can be applied in cybersecurity. We get a gentle introduction to Python, get to work with some popular Python libraries such as Pandas and Matplotlib to crunch data help McHannibal establish an understanding of Antarctic Rafts Network. This is a a, pass, a part of a, of a story, so if you, if you are not up to date with it, go, go watch my first video or basically read the, read the story on tryhackmiss.com website. Link in the description, by the way. Uh, so let's start machine. It's gonna start with a split screen. And continue with the task. Okay, data science 101. The core element of data science is interpreting data to answer questions. Data science often involves programming, statistics, and recently the use of artificial intelligence to examine large amounts of data to understand trends and patterns and help businesses make predictions that lead to informed decisions. The role and responsibility of the data scientists include data collection, processing, mining, analysis, and communication. Uh, pause and read the description if you like, uh, if you want. Uh, next thing, data science in cybersecurity. The use of data science is quickly becoming more frequent in cybersecurity because of its ability to offer insights. Analyzing data such as log events lead to an intelligent understanding of ongoing events within an organization. Using data science for anomaly detection is an example. Other uses of data science in cybersecurity include SIEM or CM, collect and correlate large amounts of data to give a wider understanding of the organization's landscape. Threat trend analysis, emerging threats can be, det can be tracked and understood. Predictive analysis, by analyzing historical events, you can create a potential picture of what the threat landscape may, lo may look like in the future. This can aid in the prevention of incidents. And here's an introduction to Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter Notebooks are open source documents containing code, text and terminal functionality. They are popular in data science and education uh, communities because they can be easily shared and executed across systems. Additionally, Jupyter Notebooks are a great way to demonstrate and explain proof of concepts in cybersecurity. Jupyter Notebooks could be considered as, instrument, uh, as instruction manuals, as you will come to discover. A notebook consists of cells that can be executed one at a time, step by step. You will see an example of a Jupyter Notebook in a screenshot below. Note how there are both formatted text and Python code being processed. Okay, so as you can see on the right, uh, there is the Jupyter Notebook mentioned before. I'm not gonna do all of this, uh, I'm not gonna read all of the documentation here, because there's this is basically a tutorial that will help you, that will help you solve the, the, questions below. I'm going to show you how to how to get to those answers. So if you first fire up the machine, you see you are already in uh, Capstone. If you click this folder here, you go back to, to the root directory and you see intro to Python, intro to pandas, intro to matplotlib and the Capstone challenge. So Definitely check those three before you start with a capstone. But without further ado, let's fire this CSV file. I'm gonna need it. And the workbook. Okay, so here's an introduction, required code. Make sure to run it before, uh, before you start uh, doing the task. Click this triangle to execute one cell at a time. Second, all right, okay. Okay, so for question two, we need to check how many packets were captured. 
looking at packet number. We're gonna use count. As you can see, packet number is here. It's uh, it's basically the number of uh, the ID sort of packet is the same as a raw. So what we can do is to simply type df for data frame dot count. As simple as that. And if you execute, you see we got packet numbers 100. And this is the correct answer. For question three, we are gonna perform a group by with pandas uh, size function on a source and destination. To do that, df dot group by open square brackets first uh, first column uh, column is source so you type source then another square brackets destination and finish it with size and if I haven't mistyped anything yes so as you can see uh, it displays how many times each IP address appeared in the uh, appeared in uh, both source and destination uh, so the most appearance most appearing one was 10.10.1.4 and this is the answer. So what was the most frequent protocol to do that? Uh, you can see, you can use pandas value.counts on the appropriate column. So the appropriate column will be probably protocol column. Let's do that df dot df dot protocol I think yes protocol dot value value dot counts and if you run this it won't work because there shouldn't be a dot here. There should be a underscore. Let me make it so you can see it. Uh, it wasn't working for me with a dot. I clicked a hint and you see they use underscore, not a dot. And uh, yeah, I typed this wrong. This will give you an answer execute the cell as you can see the most used one is ICMP ICMP submit and finish the room so that's it for today check out other try hack me rooms and uh, try hack me website in general it's a great place to learn or polish your skills in cybersecurity and, subscri and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss next walkthroughs of Advert of Cyber. I try to, I'll try to post them daily, so see you soon.